What's going on guys, JPA here, so back from a little bit of a YouTube hiatus, but we're here to talk about the VIX and SPY, how they correlate, what kind of we looked at this week. We had a couple, we had one SPY swing go for like 300% plus that we were able to get a good chunk on, and then we had another SPY swing we set up for next week, and then also we, I was able to take some SPX and I saw some other you guys take some short dated to the close and we added more long dated swing so it's pretty pretty good so thanks for being here thanks for subscribing and let's get into it so let's go to the very first one so here's where i said vix is telling me it might be time to take a swing because again vix is about to enter the bejeebus zone and let's just start with that so what is the bejeebus zone i'll do a quick kind of overview of what vix is just in case anyone's new to investing, new to the VIX, never heard of it, let's just kind of quick rundown. So basically, VIX is the volatility index. And what does that mean? So as things are more volatile, big up swings, down swings, a lot of things can happen. A lot of question and uncertainty, VIX tends to go up. When the market goes down, VIX tends to go up. And how do they relate back and forth? So let's try to get these... I mean, they should basically be exact, but it could be a little bit lagging. But, uh, so what's it mean? So the Bejeebus zone is basically everywhere that VIX was before a SPY sell-off happened. And I didn't really take into account, like, beginning of the year data, other than to get the bottom of my 17.97, which happened to be uh, yesterday's low of day for VIX, which worked out really, really well. But it was basically just an interpolation of these points over here to get my uh, second bottom because this low is like 18.01 and this is like 17.97. Usually things like bounce up and down on those psychological levels. So 18 would have been good enough, but it was just kind of neat that that 17.9 hit. But back to what the Bejeebus zone means. So you'll notice here as SPY is rallying up and this is March 28th. So there we go. So Here's March, here's March. So holding on a SPY sell, SPY goes up and then SPY starts to sell and then VIX starts to bounce again. So when SPY goes down, VIX goes up. When when uh, SPY goes up, VIX goes down. So here's SPY's at kind of the top here in August. You need to get these lined up, there we go. So. The pat it's kind of like a mirror, so you're like looking at a reflection, but it's just inverted. So here's that bottom bouncing for VIX, here's the top bouncing for SPY, here's the top bouncing for VIX, here's the bottom bouncing for SPY. So it's just a good reverse indicator. And also, when the VIX is really high, your options are going to cost more. So that's where it gets more expensive to take your plays, where it's like, oh, do I really want to stick still stay in it? But you can also have a high VIX. Like it's hard to get those call options back and just say, well, it's gonna go right back up because the market makers, the option underwriters, whatever you wanna call them, also know this. So it's always best, like that's why people say like, oh, the market was on easy mode from 2020 and 2021 because the VIX was so low the whole time and we kept going up. So you're able to kind of buy those calls or buy whatever and it was, really easy to end up being right or now you need to use a little bit more precision so let's just go back and just look at just the vix itself i'll talk about kind of just the bejeeba zone kind of just the, this is just basically my hey here's a good spot to short spy and this is just kind of a quick reason why because let's just do like an arrow so normally when it gets in there let's just say from it first enters let's get to the top so like within a month the vix goes up a hundred percent on that one, which is pretty ridiculous. Let's just leave that there. We'll get another one, grab it. Here's another kiss of the bejeebus zone. A month and two weeks, it's up 77%, but even faster, two weeks up 40%, one week up 25%. So generically, all of us, if we're listening to this, are day traders, weekly traders, whatever, you have to be you have a more short-term vision potentially so when there's opportunities for a index ticker what have you to 
moves so rapidly when it gets to these zones, it's something that we really need to pay attention to. So we had that multiple kiss. So could it be a W double bottom, double bottom, whatever what you want to call it, multiple retesting? Yes. So I do like the chances for that bounce, especially in the zone. And even before, it only just grazed into the zone a few times. So I was willing to take the risk like, hey, here's where we need to start buying puts. Because if you look at SPY, like it looks like the next level that you want to short at is that 410.22 or 410 flat. But again, it gets there and then it's, I mean, it's a pretty rapid decline down and we've had like, everyone has the tread line of pay, mother of all tread lines, whatever you want to call it for the entire year. But now it's, we're over it. We need to be looking at something different. So you have that rapid ascension in SPY, but all I was looking at was, hey, here's another candle top. The VIX is low. So all I did was I just grabbed some puts right here. So basically 408, which is really close to high of day. And it ended up working out really, really well for me in the short term. And I'll go ahead and show you. So scroll down. So we got 55 cents to $5 for SPX, which works really well. But also it gave us a really good entry on these next week's buy 395s. Because yes, it could go to 410, but again, it went to 410 one time here and then the same exact day. So here it is, high 410, low 399 in the same exact day. Close right up here, it's gonna say, it says that C. You can see close of 402. So an eight point swing in one day once it got to the 410 level. So I, I positioned myself where I'm not gonna be upset if it goes down, but I see what a big sell can happen. And then again, next day, low 396 next day low uh 387 and of course that's a pretty dramatic example but here it is again high 410 by the end of the week low of 391 your options are four dollars in the money and five times what you paid for them if you have the time left with it and then here it is again spy high 411 on september 12th by September 19th, seven days later, low of 382. So there's still been a lot of issues in that Bejiba zone, in that level for SPY. So the opportunity is really there. And it's kind of about, you, I always like to look for where I can get as many things as possible line up at the same time. And I don't try to put a million indicators to tell me what lines up at the same time. I try to get stocks that tell me what's gonna line up at the same time or events. It's like, we know we got the Fed next week. We know we got some more earnings calls next week. If anything bad happens, it could really, really get toast. But if like the market could get toast and then same thing, we could get toast in VIX because we could fall underneath that Bejiba zone. And let's just go and start looking at like a monthly view. I mean, eventually, maybe a weekly is a little bit cleaner for what we're talking about here. Eventually we can kind of get back to those low teens levels and it's only going to bounce from the teens to twenties every time. And you can still figure out the new, hey, here's where you should consider puts, here's where you can consider, consider calls. But over time, it kind of all figures itself out. It's just, we've had this really crazy 2022 and still in it in 2023. So as that level works, we're gonna continue to play it. If it doesn't work, we won't play it. But as of now, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it and see what we can do. So, I mean, hope this educational video helped you all guys. If you want, you can uh, join the channel, be a member. You can get a little badge and show you support me. I just put it on there. I don't know if anyone cares enough to do anything. But if you did, it'd be cool. We'd get a little Algonaut helmet. And uh, with that, I think I can see you next time.